Well, for the second weekend in a row, the Asian American community in Arizona is pushing to save the Chinese Cultural Center. And now they are asking for President Trump's help as well. Maria Hachinova live in Phoenix to explain, Maria. Well, today the group emailed the president's press office inviting him to the Chinese Cultural Center located here off of the Loop 202 and 44th Street. It's been around here for 20 years, and here's the deal. We got the exclusive tour today to show you why supporters say it's so special. It's known for its authentic Chinese food. It's called a kumpa chicken. Cultural festivals and unique architecture. There's no else. It's all by wiring. But that pagoda back there is the only replica I have in the whole world. But Chinese community groups are afraid Arizona's Chinese Cultural Center is at risk of being destroyed. They already erased or painted the sign there. Unfortunately, the, the garden's locked, so he can't go in. The group's lawyer tells them the new owner is thinking of turning it into a standard commercial and office space, but they haven't received any official confirmation that's happening. Do you think this is an attack on Chinese culture? We believe this is a battle between big corporation, big business versus the uh, culture and the history. If they choose to ignore the culture and the history, and basically the actions will speak for themselves. Today, the group invited President Trump to visit when he's in town with hopes he could help. He was a successful businessman. I think now is for him, it's a perfect opportunity to act as a bridge between Asian communities and the big business. And even if the president doesn't show, they hope they reach the new owner for answers. Hey, he hasn't been returning your calls or? Uh, not yet, not so far. We need better communication so that each side understand what the other side want and that we want to create a win-win situation. The group has plans to protest here tomorrow. As for the owner, we did reach out to him today, but the office is closed. Once we hear back from him, we'll let you know. Reporting live in Phoenix, Maria Hachinova, back to you.